What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last video I only got to show you the fourth quarter of my last exhibition game. Just had some electricity issues, that type of thing. I probably didn't even need to post that, but whatever. I wanted to show you at least some of the results of that. And we're going to do the exact same thing today. We're going to do another exhibition game. I'm going to play a similar game. Two high-powered teams going up against each other. And I want to show you the adjustments that I made that I've done in the last game. First of all, we're going to do six-minute quarters. The previous game I've done seven minutes. It was way too long, and my stats were more than enough. So I think I can play on six minutes and be happy with some of the stats I see going forward. As you can also see here, I'm playing on All-American. I had a friend of mine suggest default All-American and just sticking with it and seeing how it goes. And I've done that, and the reason why I'm liking it is mainly because jump to snap is just not that big of an issue at All-American. On Heisman, I can lower the break block down to zero, and you're still going to see it big time. On All-American, you don't see it hardly at all on either side, and if you do see it, they usually may get blocked. You have to be like a really good defensive lineman to make a big play with jump to snap. So... Let me just show you that. As you see here, I got six minute quarters, All American. We go to the settings again, default All American. Here we have the human sliders, and then we got the CPU sliders as well. Everything at 50%. I really like what I saw in the previous game. Hopefully, we'll see uh, some good stuff today. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and save this. What we're going to do today is we're going to go up against Florida, and I'm going to be Oklahoma. This is, will be the last game I'm going to play with two equal teams. I want to, after that, play games where I'm the cupcake going up against a really good team. I think that's a, another good way to kind of gauge how these sliders work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be Oklahoma. The reason I'm going to be Oklahoma is, one, they, they're really good. And if you remember back in 2008, the year 2008, Oklahoma took on Florida. And that's what we're going to do today. Also, I was using Oklahoma's playbook in the previous game. It's a nice, balanced uh, playbook from ace, eye, gun sets. It's got a little bit of everything. So I wanted to show off a bunch of different things at once in this game. So this is what we're going to do. So again, we're going to be Oklahoma. We're going to take on Florida. Number two versus, I don't know what we are. We're, number, we're in the top five, I'm pretty sure. But as you can tell... Both A overall teams, so it should be a lot of fun. If you remember, this was the national championship game. So we're going to go up against Tim Tebow, see how that spread option looks, all that good stuff. So let's go here. Let's do just a, another day game is fine. We'll go 10% uh, for the win. Just have normal weather. We don't want that to affect our stats and stuff. Okay. They're running a 4-3. At default, the defensive playbook is 3-3-5, but we're definitely changing that. To the 4-3 in the offensive playbook. I have it set on Oklahoma. And I think we are good to go. One thing I want to do, let me go back here. Let's look at Florida's uniforms. I bet they got some unique things in here. Let's see. Their default is the white pants. Away is what I'm used to remember back in the 2000s, about 10 years ago. They don't hardly use that setup anymore. They're all about all blue or all white. They may have the all whites in here. I, I Last year, I remember seeing Dan Mullen's teams doing a lot of this on the road and seeing a lot of this at home. So we're going to let them rock the blue uniforms today. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, like I said, in the previous game, the offenses looked pretty good in terms, I mean, in terms of stats and stuff. I was more than happy with that. The only thing is... The only hesitation I have with All-American is I think I may be too good for it, but we'll just see how that plays out. I still want to go up against a much better team than what I've got and vice versa. And if that all looks halfway normal, then I'm just going to stick with it. I'm starting to think changing sliders is going to mess up things in this particular game. I just don't think it handles it well. Okay, let's look at the preview. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Heat may be a factor in it's been a while since I played the in the Swamp. And the Florida Gators. I'm going to play in. If I'm going back to the 06 we dynasty, I'll be going to Florida, Florida I think, Mississippi, with Mississippi State. The They're fifth in the country. 
Kirk, what they are. Oklahoma knows all too well about playmakers as they have one DeMarco Murray with that's a glitch you look on the back of it it says English that is not DeMarco well that may be DeMarco Murray but for whatever reason it's got English on the back of it that's weird <laughs> alright the pick at us we go here uh, we'll have to take the ball first now I, I turned injuries off I didn't want that to affect the game I'll turn that on whenever I get into a dynasty Let's go to in-game strategy, and let's look at our playbook really quick. And I wanted to show you sort of what I'm dealing with today. Again, nothing but ace, iron, gun, a little bit of everything. Big, twin tight end slot, slot, white trips, I twin, slot, and tight, and twin tight ends. Then you got gun, normal, halfback, wig. That's a new formation. It was for 07 at least. Wide trips, wing trips, that's for an 07 set and spread halfback week for some reason i don't think this was an 07 so this one could be brand new but as you can tell it's basically your normal standard balance pro stylish looking offense if you remember back in 2008 oklahoma had an all-time record setting offense if you go back on youtube look up their videos from 08 just insane the numbers they put up of course they got beat by florida in the national title game but they had a whole lot of fun getting to that point let's put it that way now, what we you're going to see a bit of a preview. I just wanted to show you, like, for example, some new stuff in 09, your power play, your, your power O, you got play action off of that. Uh, another thing I was wanting to show you was you now have auto motion in this game. For those of you who haven't played 09 yet, you got auto motion. You also got wide receiver sweeps. They're a whole lot of fun. Hopefully, I can show them off to you today and stuff like that. But it's littered throughout all of these formations. Okay, let's go check out our roster, kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. Sam Bradford, I got an impact quarterback. We're going to throw quite a bit today. DeMarco Murray, again, if you go back and look at the the intro or the preview for this particular game, I swore I thought it said English on the back of his jersey. I guess that's a glitch of some sort. Anyway, we're going to give him the ball a lot today. I wonder if he can catch. I'm sure he can. 76, oh yeah. We're going to have some fun with him. Uh, we got a good fullback. Good little group of receivers. Uh, Joaquin Iglesias, Tennell, Emmanuel Johnson. Jermaine Gresham. This guy was a beast at tight end back in the day. I don't know. I don't remember him doing a whole lot in the NFL, but he was amazing. Really good offensive line. Everybody just in the high 80s to 90s. We're running a 4-3. As you can tell, we're just loaded down with talent. But Florida is as well. And we're going to check out Nick Harris, impact guy. We got two 90-plus overall guys at safeties. That's not bad. Average kicker, average punter. Let's check out Florida. Out of the gate, Tim Tebow. It's going to be a whole lot of fun going up against this cat. Then we got Emmanuel Moody at halfback. I'm quite positive there he is, Percy Harvin. It's going to be a whole lot of fun trying to stop this cat. Amazing talent. I mean, this guy just dominated football games. Cornelius Ingram, I remember him playing. They got a good offensive line, I assume, as well. They got the Pouncey Twins. At least there's one of them. Maurice and Mike Pouncey. Yep, they're both in there. Right tackle. Then I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3. 88, 89. Just, yeah, really good talent across the board. Brandon Spikes was a really good linebacker. I remember him playing. Let's see, uh, Joe Hayden, yes. Average kicker, pretty good, pretty decent punter. And that's it. All right, let's just go ahead and get this show on the road. We're getting the ball first. Hopefully we don't see a lot of turnovers. The first two exhibition games, we didn't have that many to turnovers. The last one, we had quite a few, so hopefully we won't see too much of that today. Good broken tackle by Murray. Kind of oh, we're on the right game. hash. They Let's just do out something the for the first time out of the gates. Uh, let's go with a hitch corner. Well, we're going like zone. Hopefully, what we're going to do here is read the right corner. I'm not seeing a shift under the line. Let's see. Pick up a seven yards there. What I've done here was I talked about it in a few of the last few games. In 09, if Lee Corso would shut up, in 09, you have to read the corner. 
Sometimes he'll go high or low when they are in zone. This time he went high. So I, he actually played it really perfect right there. But he backed up just enough so I knew I was going to go to my low read. And I went to him. I picked up about, what, five yards or so? Okay, seven yards. More than I thought. Let's try... I don't know. Let's try some counter. I'm going to keep it pretty balanced today just because I got a high or an impact corner or an impact quarterback and halfback. Good block there. Uh, he may be gone. No, he may get caught right here. Great. Who is that? That number eight. That's a monster. Had good block in the counter. We'll break this down. That's those motivation points. I don't know a whole lot about them yet. Let's go here. Let's go to instant replay. Let's break this down. Counter. We're going to go to the left. Thankfully, the counter plays have, are much improved compared to 06 because your pulling guard goes off the line real quick. Gets a good block off the edge on that free safety. And that gives me just enough room to do some damage here. Now, look at that number eight right there. Who is that? I, Carlos Dunlap. That's who that is. That dude is a freak. He's a defensive end, weighs like 270 pounds. Okay, that's a good play there. Uh, let's go to something. Let's go here and let's try a wide receiver sweep. See if this works. Thankfully, the sweep works against man or zone. As long as you get decent blocking, it's not an either or. It could be both. That's good defense there. He was just waiting on You can see here. I had good protection, except that guy was just, just done a good job right there. So did I? I may have gained a yard. Didn't gain anything. Okay. Let's try some auto motion. Let's do a slam. We're going zone. I think that's a bear front. We're spreading out. Let's see. We're going to our left. I should have kept going upfield. That's a great blocking right there. Up the B gap. Right there. And I, I didn't need to hesitate. I probably could have got the first. Either way, is second or third and two? There we go. Let's go here and do another high-low. They're going man, so I'll go to one of the outside receivers more than likely. Do a little slide protection. Get a first down with Tennell. Just a simple man beater on the right. We can go here and let's do another. I, I want to keep doing a lot of high low reads just to show you some cool things. Let's do dig smash. We're going zone. So we're going to, again, we're going to read the corner on the right. Now I got a center beater, but I'm going to ignore him for now. The corner gave me the low, the high read again. The corner decided to go high. And forgive me for breaking all these down. So he went high. And so I went low. Eventually he'll go low and I'll be hitting the high read. Uh, let's go. I thought I had a screenplay. That's not it. Where's it at? Maybe it's here? I uh, can't find it. I need to pick something quick, though. Let's go here. Eight yards from the end zone. We're going zone. I'll probably hand this off. Touchdown. All right. So what we've done here, this was a slot option. I could have brought that quarter, the slot to the backfield, but there was really no need to. I was going to hand it off to Marco Murray anyways. Just good blocking right there. Missed a tackle on that one, and it's up for the end zone. So that was a pretty easy drive. We'll kick an extra point. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. Again, that's my only small worry about the All-American stuff is I'm afraid it may be a little too easy for me, but in hindsight, I have, like, the best collection of offensive talent in this game with Oklahoma. And with my skill level, I should be able to put up crazy numbers, even against a really good defense like Florida. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, especially going forward when I am using a really bad team that has, like, little to no talent. Going up against a really good team. So we'll see that in the next exhibition game. My kicker got destroyed. Okay, they are going with a big set. 
Let's do a one high. I'm going to keep it pretty basic on defense. Just do four or three stuff. Nothing too crazy. The D line shifts over. Going under center. That's interesting for Florida. Went play action. Ooh, wide open. Oh, Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. No comment on him. A seven yard gain that time. Let's do his I'm afraid the blitz on Tebow. I think he'll just run out of it. The sooner. So we'll do quarters. Come back. I don't like the way that looked. We'll sweep. Oh, oh, great play. Oh, he dropped it. And that really threw me off. Notice me. I'm the linebacker on the left. And I thought he was going to hand it off to him. That's This is a play action fake sweep. So I that really just threw me for a loop. He was wide open. Oh, he just overthrew it a little bit. Of course, it would have been nice if the receiver would have tried to catch it. So it's third and three. I'm going to... Hmm, let's do a Tampa 2. I ran some Tampa 2 in the last game, and I really enjoyed it. So let's try some of it today. Right here. I'll, I'll use it several times today. Tebow with three wide receivers. Using the wing trips look. Looking. He throws Interception. I don't know what that was. There's a flag, on the flag. I wonder if the receiver got holding. Nope. We'll take it. We'll decline that. So we'll, we'll break that play down. Now, this is another thing that kind of worried me. In the previous game, you missed most of it. Colt McCoy for Texas threw a lot of interceptions. Now, I don't know if it's just the QB accuracy needs to go up or something, but for whatever reason, did he get hit when he got... He threw it off his back foot, and I don't know who he was going to. I guess he was going to Harvin. Just a bad throw. Maybe that's a QB accuracy thing. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't see too much more of that today. Okay, let's work off of that, and let's do a little play action. Let's do a basic PA rollout. We're going man. Ball on the 48-yard line. One man back for you. Let's go here. One-on-one -on -one situation. Good play. They went cover one, I think. Oh, the safety came down. That's why I've done that. He came down, so it's pretty much a 50-50 a ball with this receiver right here. Tennell is having a field day so far. So we are on the what? We're on the three. Now, none of the of these formations that I've tried work against goal line like it does in those six. So I have to do something a little bit different. I'd love to try to just use goal line and be done with it. I've always struggled with it, especially in 06. Ooh, I love the shift. Let's go ahead and do it. Ah, good defense. Guy came through. Nobody blocked him. Let's try to go up the gut this time. ISO. We're going zone. Touchdown. All right. So, quick scores out of the gates. The good thing is I'm not seeing a whole lot of jump to snap on either side. That was a big bugaboo for me. It was a big problem in Heisman. I'm not seeing a whole lot on All-American. So, I'm more than willing. Again, I'm not going to touch the sliders for a while. I want to test it in the other scenarios. But it's not a big deal for me if i got to increase it quite a bit for the CPU, offense, defense, what have you. We'll see how this game goes. Now, if I beat Florida by 30, then I may have to make some adjustments. But I'm afraid to go back to highs, but just because we're going to see so many weird, goofy things. All right, back to defense we go. Percy Harvin, please don't score on us. And the kicker makes the tackle. Hey, let's just do quarters. I'm going to make Tebow throw on me all day. I'm not going to let him go over the top. Now, these, some of the plays that are running are kind of fooling me a little bit. A little halfback direct. Didn't get a whole lot there. Going nickel quarters. It's like they're going four wide. I'm not going to blitz much today. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm going to play action. Wow, he broke that tackle. Ah, dang it. That was my fault. 
Well, I, that, I should have picked that off. Look how far off I am right here. We're going to zoom out. So I don't know what happened. I saw this guy coming down on this dig route, and I went over there to him, and I just whiffed him. I just stopped. Either way, good play by Florida. They got something going now. Going three wide. I want to try basic cover two man. Let's do a little bit of everything today. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Gators are lining up with three receivers. Uh oh. Let's see what they're doing here. Play action again. They're throwing a ton. Why aren't they running the ball? Uh, that's another thing. I'll stop right here. I've noticed in every exhibition game I played in 09, a lot of the teams are just not running the ball a whole lot. And. I don't know if that's their coaching strategy. It shouldn't be. I mean, Texas is a balanced offense. Florida's is – they actually, I thought they ran a little bit more than they threw it. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. We went up against Georgia Tech. They did – they done their part. So that kind of gives me hope. All right. I'm not – okay. I'm not too worried about that now. I forgot about Georgia Tech. They ran as much as they were supposed to. But still. Second down and 10 to go. They got Tim Tebow. Then he start running with them at least a little bit. All right, they're going five wide. Oh, there we go. Nope, another play action. Pick up the first down, though. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's the first down right there. Uh, let's go. They're going four wide. I'm still going to stick in quarters. They're due to, for a run play here. Go back. I don't like the way that looked. I like the little motion there. Oh, good play. Oh, my gosh. Oh, a fumble. Well, we can look at this. Either way, great play by Florida. They put me in a bind. Either I go for the swing route right there or I go for the curl. Either way, I, I can't go after either after both. So an awesome play by them. But Percy Harvard fumbles it. It's not a big hit, so that gives me hope. Maybe it's just a bad play, just a fumble. Now, if he had had his head knocked off, then I would have got a, a little worried. All right, we got the ball back. Uh, let's go. Let's call something we haven't used yet. Uh, let's do switch. All right, they're going zone. I'm just going to... I got a center beater underneath, but I'm just going to read the corner just to kind of hopefully show off some things here. And dang it. Great defense. Carlos Dunlap was coming through. Nobody picked him up. For some reason, my tackle. You see right here, he just decided not to go after him. So I had no choice but to run out with it here. I got some yards. Good defense, though. So it's second and eight. Let's try. There's that screenplay. Uh, let's do QB choice. They're going man. But as long as they don't shift too hard. The Sooners. And he's. That's good defense. Nobody picked him up. The tackle didn't get him. Nobody did. Okay. Let's go. I need to put my tight end in here. Tight end slot. There we go. He's got to be in there. We're going to go with slot post. This is a nasty play. This has been my main third down play. All right, they're going zone. I got like four zone options, to be honest. We'll see what happens here. Oklahoma lines up with three receivers. Bradford set to go to the air. Ooh, interception. Just a bad play. I threw it off my back foot. I was fixing to get sacked. They blitzed hard, and I threw it. That's just a good play on their part. That's all them right there. Oh, don't freeze up on me. No, okay, it's that. I always forget. And that's just my fault. Just a bad play. All right, they got the ball back. I'd like to see Florida do something with this. We'll see. They was moving the ball just fine earlier until they fumbled it. Tebow lines up in the shotgun. And they're still passing for whatever reason, whatever. Big hit there. He didn't fumble, though. I'm going to go with the one high. I think they're determined to... They may not get this playoff. Three. Yeah, they may try. 
Yep, they're, they're passing again. They're making plays, so I guess they have no reason to complain, but I mean, they're throwing a ton. All right, 14 to nothing, though, but they're moving. Again, going up against Georgia Tech, they ran the ball a ton. They were supposed to. So I'm just ready for Florida to start doing a little bit of running. There we go. That's more like it. Get about five yards there. That gives me a little bit of hope. Uh, let's do a zone blitz and see what happens. Second down. Let's go after him. Good pickup on the block. Oh wow. He broke a tackle, so it's what third and three. Let's do an over front and uh, hmm. let's do a one high. I think they're going to run it. They line up at the twenty-two. We get third and three here. Wasn't really expecting that type of play, but okay. Now it looks like they're probably kick a field goal. We'll do safe man. That way nobody. Tries to do anything goofy and hit the kicker. The kick is up. And the field right down the middle. Hopefully we don't see six more turnovers. That, of course, that last one, that's my fault. I have no problem with that. That and the other fumble by Florida, at least it wasn't due to a big hit, so I guess it's a legit fumble. That's good defense there. Came right off the block. All right, we need to give the ball to that guy right there. So let's do, let's do a dive. Let's go up the middle again. See what's available. We're going man four three. Oklahoma comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. No, what are you doing? It won't let me switch over. Okay, I don't have enough time. So let's just go ahead and call the play. That's just good defense there. And let's go with... Let's do a wide receiver sweep. We're going zone. Again, it doesn't bother me too much. I've had success with it against zone. The Sooner come out in the ace formation. Good blocking here. Pick up the first down. We can break this play down. They went zone, but we, everybody, my wide receiver, 10 on right there, just had a great block. So that's a good first down pick up there. Let's go. Do, do, do. And let's try some. Something a little bit different. Let's do flank or dig. That looks nasty. We're going man. I'll probably go to somebody on the left. Uh, actually, I got all five options are pretty decent here. Oklahoma goes with the ace. I got a here. dig and a okay. Looks to Dang it! Wow, well, Carlos Dunlap. Nobody's blocking him for whatever reason. He done a scrape exchange, and both my guard and my tackle just whiffed on it. I just, what do you do? I just, I don't know what to do about that. The blocking, he just, you know. Uh, so let's try to make up some of that if we can. Do I got anything halfway decent from here? Let's just pick up something here. Ooh, I'm right in the middle of the field. They're going man. That's okay. I got a couple options. Do slide protection. Doing that. He lets it go. Find his receiver. Get some of the yards back. So now it's third and ten. And let's just go back to our bread and butter third down play. Oh, uh, it is slot post. We're going zone. Several options. This will go to somebody on the left more than likely. If I got the time to do it. Do a little slide protection. Oh, almost got the first. That was weird. Again, they're they are bringing the heat. Look at that. That blitz is insane. What, there's nothing you can do about it. I only had five blockers, and they was bringing six. Here comes the corner. 
or that nickel. Yeah, that's just great play on their part. Fourth and one, let's just go for it. I'm going to just do something simple. We're going man. This will go to somebody on the outside more than likely. It's like I don't have to slide protect. There we go. Just pick up the first with the Glacius. Let's go back here. And let's do counter trap with a little auto motion. We're going zone 4-3. Now, it's originally going to the right. If I audible to the left or move it to the left, it ain't going to let me do it. I guess some places it won't let you do it. That's fine. Oh, and a fumble. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Turnovers, turnovers. Uh, impact guy made it. It wasn't even a big hit. It just a just a turnover. So what's weird is all the fumbles are impact guys fumbling the ball. Turnovers. It is what it is. Okay, let's keep playing. Comes to the line with three wide. Play. Oh, no, here we go. That's the Tim Tebow I'm used to seeing. We don't look like a QB choice right there. Let's do a crash gold. They line up at the 34. Second and six. The Gators come out showing three wide. There we go. QB power. He didn't get anything from it, but at least they attempted it. So now it's third and seven. Let's go here and let's do Tampa 2. It looks like basic cover 2 zone, but you look at the middle linebacker here and it's a cover 3 more or less. I'll control the middle linebacker. Go on screen. And nothing there. At least they didn't fumble. Okay. Let's get the ball back. Maybe we can score again before the half. I'm loving the six minutes. A whole lot better than the seven. It just feels so much quicker. Looks like I'm going to be passing, going forward for the rest of the half. They're running clock. That's smart. I want to do some more high-low reach just so I can show you some of the corner going low, which is so much fun. That's a whole Number new nine, the depth to the game. Okay. I'm going to have to go on the gun. Their offensive line, or their defensive line is doing a number on my guys. Let's pick something. Let's do corners. We're growing man. I'm going to go to somebody on the left. We're spreading out, and everybody and their brother's coming. Uh, I went slide protection to the out. Look at the throw. And I got hit as soon as I threw it. I had no I mean, just no time whatsoever. They're, they're bringing the heat from all angles. Let's do... I'm going to give Murray another chance. And they're doing that. Uh, let's see. They come out with three wide receivers. That didn't help things. Don't fumble it. He was going to fumble it there for too long. <laughs> All right, third and five. I got to hurry it up a little bit. He is gassed. I thought I fixed this. We can look at my settings. If you go to controller layout, it didn't change it. It should have changed. Maybe I didn't save it. Okay, either way, here's what I like to see. I want 80% here, 85, quick. I want this turned off. Auto throw, you always want to have that turned off. And it may take Murray out. Yeah, he's still in there. Let's call a timeout. Oklahoma will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Third and five. Let's just do a basic high-low from somewhere. We can do that, or we can go... If I can find... Let's do basic curl flats. That's fine. All right, they're going zone. I'm just going to read this right corner. Everybody, their brother's coming. Oh, this is going to be... I should have went out of bounds. That's my fault. Let's just hurry up to the line. 
looks like he has a rock. I don't know what they're calling. It could be man zone. Bradford with three wide receivers. Bradford drops back. It's complete. Let's get out of bounds. All right, that way I can at least save a little time. Okay. We're going to stay in the gun just because their offensive line or defensive line is doing a number on us. I wish that swing route was a little bit better on that one. Uh, let's see. Let's do the hitch corner, I guess. We'll do more high lows for now. They're going man. Second and four. I wonder if I can have Gresham. He can hear it. Good. We're bringing both. Let's go, Gresham. Six points. Oh, my gosh. What a catch. They brought both safeties, I guess, correctly. I had a high rate over here, a cover zero beater. I don't know if he had a beat or not. Ooh, he did. Look at the separation right there. Either way, I wanted him to do something more than that little out route. So we got that going. All right, we're on the goal line. Let's just do an ISO. I'm going to use the triangle button to protect the ball. The whole, you know, it's to cover the ball. It should help for fumbles' sakes. We're going to run some clock. There we go. Touchdown. All right, good deal. Now, I wonder if his name is still... All right, they fixed it. Good. For whatever reason, I swore it said English in the preview. All right. We finished the drive. We're up pretty good chunk right now. But the half's over with. Well, there's 24 seconds. Anything can happen. We'll look at some stats here. And he adds the extra point. Like I said, offensively, this is about as peak as you'll see me offensively in this game on All-American. Because, again, Oklahoma has, like, the best selection of talent offensively in the game. So, if you ever want to see me run a pro-style offense, this is pretty much what it would look like at a high power rate, if that makes sense. I'm going to go quarters. I don't know if they're going to try to do something with this or not, or they're just going to run out the clock. They do get ball start second half. Ooh, good play. He got, couldn't get it off in time. He's thrown the ball well, 7 of 11, but only 77 yards. Let's do basic cover two man. I think they're going to run it. Ball on their own 30. The D line shifts over. They're going to throw it. A call a timeout, maybe. Yeah, they're going to call a timeout. The Gators call a timeout. They're going three wide. We'll do quarters. They line up at the 39. Third and one coming up on this play. Maybe I can bait him into an interception on my side. Somebody must have got to him. He didn't get it off in time. So I don't know if that's an... That's just good defense. So their defensive line is doing a number on us. Our defensive line every now and then does, does something on them. So... And we actually get the ball back here, which is interesting. We got 10 seconds. I don't know if we'll get anything off here. I'll have like one play probably to work with. Thankfully in 09, you can turn the return camera off. He gets it away. Get a block on there, somebody. Number nine, field nope, field good. Uh -oh. One second. All right, we'll do a Hail Mary. We're on the 47. Let's go Hail Mary. There are only, if I can get to it, there is no Hail Mary. The Hail Mary isn't in this game. Oh, my gosh. That's There's no Hail Mary. Where's the Hail Mary? Oh, that's what happened. Get the ball here. Let's talk about this for a minute. I didn't see the Hail Mary. In 09, you got technically 13 formations, not 12. You go to your custom playbooks, it just lists 12. But when you go to your audibles, it'll show a 13th formation. That accidentally replaced the Hail Mary. This isn't technically a big deal because there's only three plays in Hail Mary. 
But still, that's what it done. It got rid of the helmet. But we'll check that here in a minute. I, but I didn't see it. I must have missed something. So that's the this is the deepest play that I can find. We'll go to this wheel route. That's just good stuff. Yeah, I didn't see the Hail Mary uh, play anywhere. Formation. That's so weird. We'll try that again a little bit later. All right, let's look at some stance. Maybe I was just missing it. Either way. Okay, I'm more than happy with putting up 200 yards and a half, especially against Florida. So six minutes is more than enough for me. I almost wouldn't mind going down to five. As you can tell, we got a good balance of offense. The only thing that kind of worries me again, Florida's offense just isn't doing a whole lot right now. They were moving the ball halfway decent, but they were, in, you know, turning the ball over too. They are throwing the ball a whole lot more than they're running it. Only 14 yards. I haven't seen one CPU offense yet run the ball on me that well. But again, I got a really good defense, so maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, there's only one sack. None of that really... There's already been four turnovers. I don't... A, a couple of these didn't bother me too bad. I didn't see one fumble that was due to a big hit at least. So they were legit fumbles, I guess. One interception, the one that I had was terrible. That was just my fault. And Tebow's interception was bad. So technically, I guess I'm not too upset over these. But still, the last game, there was like seven turnovers. And we already have four and one half. I hope this, I'd like to eventually see a game where there's not many turnovers at all. Just cross your fingers. Hopefully, we'll see that. All this other stuff is not a big deal to me. Let's go look at the individual stats. 8 of 13. Tebow's throwing the ball well. He's just not doing a whole lot with it. His average is what? Only 6-yard average? I, of course, it's my quarters coverage. You're not going to throw deep on me a whole lot if I'm going to go quarters the entire time. If I went cover one on his man beaters, then he may go over the top more. Uh, they're not running the ball a whole lot. We're not seeing many drops either. That looks fairly normal. I wanted to see, here's the thing, okay, pancakes look very normal, so it is on my end. Defensively, I wanted to see, you know, knockdowns was like a big issue in 05, I, they're not a big issue in this game, but, okay, I think I've seen enough, let's just go ahead and go into the third quarter, they get the ball back, I actually wouldn't mind seeing them go right down the field and scoring on me, we'll see if they do that. Like, if I do more cover one, maybe they'll go over the top more. I have to remind myself, when I run so much quarters, I'm not going to see a whole lot of deep balls by the opposing team. Maybe that is just engineered in this game for a C for the CPU offense to do that. For example, like, we could go, like, nickel cover one against an 11 personnel and just see what happens. We'll flip that. The Gators come out in a shotgun. And a sack. Okay. I think that was a big hit, but I think Tebow put the hit on him. Looked kind of weird. All right, we'll just stay in nickel quarters. I think we're going four wide. Go back. I don't like the way that looked. Just nothing there. A loss on that one as he couldn't uh, get past those big linemen. You got let's do right. Tampa. I don't think Tampa 2 is in. Let's do basic cover stuff. 3. Third, Third down. I'll control a defensive lineman and see what happens. There's English. So that was like a mix-up. Maybe that's who they was trying to show off and not Murray. Either way, it did show Murray's stats. The whole thing was kind of weird. I can't get to him in time. Oh, I, I did anyways. Come on, Tebow. You got to get it off somehow. Again, a small worry I have is the CPU offense. They're not doing a whole lot in these first two games. Maybe I just have to crank up the CPU sliders. I'm sticking on All-American because at least jump to snap is not destroying either team right now. That's the only reason why I got away from Heisman. I, I was just going to get frustrated if I had to see that all the time. Okay, we are in the middle of the field. Let's go up the gut with Murray. We're going 3-3. Three, three. They do that a lot in this game. Even though they're a 4-3 get team. 
good defense though. Not a whole lot there. Comes away with two yards on the carry. Let's do a wide down. receiver sweep. They're going man. On the now this nickel is probably going to be on Gresham. There he goes. Um, yeah. Hopefully we'll get some. That's good defense. The corner or is that the safety? Good protection. Other than that guy just played it really smart. So that's just good defense on their part. I have no problem with that play whatsoever. Okay, it's third and seven. Let's just go back to our bread and butter. We're going to flip it. We're going zone. I want to see that corner come up. He hasn't done it yet. He's went high all day. I know they go low eventually. And I pressed the wrong button. Oh, no, it actually worked out. <laughs> and the corner went low, so I wasn't going to go to my comeback route. He went high. But they looks like they went cover two. And this guy was open. I forgot this comeback route with a backside po or a post beside it can get open against zone regardless. We're going to try that a little bit later. Like, okay, we can try it now. There's another version of this. It's out of I-Twins. It should be in here. Deep comeback. Again, comeback post. Please go zone. Ah, they're going man. We'll try it here again. They're going man. If comeback is still a great man beater, that's who I'll probably go to. If I got time to throw and I don't. Nope. Just no protection from what I can tell. Whatever. Here's a... The offensive lines for both teams are just not doing a very good job protecting. So maybe that's what I need to fix a little bit. Run blocking, pass blocking needs to go up because for whatever reason, he just whiffed on the tech, on the block. I should have just scooted up into the pocket. Either way, I probably wasn't going to get much out of that play. Let's do... Uh, I'm in the middle of the field, too. Let's do a speed option. They're going man dime. I'm okay with that. It's second down. They're doing that. The Gators line up with six defensive backs. Three ninety-one. Lateral. Good defense. That's just good defense. It is what it is. Okay, let's go and let's try that combo again. Slot post. I wanted to show you. Hopefully, this works. We're going zone. I think I could get to the comeback route regardless, but I really want to see that corner come up. He's going high. Either way, you see right there, the corner went low again, or he went high. So normally I'd go to my underneath route right here, but again, this post and this combo, no, this post and this comeback is a killer combo against zone. Look at that. Boom. So just keep that in mind. It's just a good little combo. Now, I didn't get the first. We're, oh, we're on the four. We're definitely going to go for this. Let's just get in the gun again. Let's go all curls. We're going man. They've been calling man every time I call this. We're going to do slide protection to the right. Probably go to the... There we go. I didn't get it, but I think we got them off sides. No, we didn't. Dang it. That's good defense. Again, the offensive line blocking in this game is a little suspect. I hope you're seeing the same thing I am. My tackle, for whatever reason, just decided not to go after the outside guy. I don't know why. Is that an awareness thing or a pass blocking thing in terms of sliders? I don't know. It's just something I, I have to think about, though. Because neither team is pass blocking all that well. But I got to remind myself, I'm going up, you know, they, these are two really good defenses, too. But still, offensive line should do a little bit better than that. All right, that was a good run, six yards. Going five wide here. We'll just stick with quarters out of nickel. I probably have enough good players to run dime if I wanted to. He may run this. First down. Uh, five wide again. Let's do a two high, see what they do. And I probably need to... As you can see there, they're just not doing a whole lot offensively compared to us. 
Of course, they're playing pretty good defense right now this quarter. Good play. Oh, just a drop, I guess. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see five wide again. This is something Let's do quarters. Very hard to be able to overcome. Second down and ten to go. I was really hoping to see. I'm going to keep running a lot of high lows. Forgive me for doing that, but I really want to show you that corner coming down. Maybe this is they just decided not to do it in this game. That's a terrible throw. That's a. I don't know what that was. Uh, Yep, 53 yards, my Let's friend. do a Tampa 2. In there the right. I'm not blitzing whatsoever, and I'm curious to see how their offensive line handles this. Now let's spread them out. Screen, and a sack. Well, and a sack, and a sack. See, this kind of worries me about the All-American thing. I I'll tell you though, Kirk, it's hard to keep fourth and forever from the quarterback. Well, they're going to have to. Let's get the ball back. This quarterback's going to get drilled out there. I'm not going to I'm not going to pass judgment until I'm a terrible team going up against a good team. I need to do that. But still, I mean, you kind of see what I'm seeing though. I mean, it is what it is. It's been in both games. The CPU offenses are still kind of struggling. So maybe I just need to crank up the sliders on All-American on their side. All right, let's run the ball a little bit. Let's do out of a bigger set. Let's do power O. We're going zone. And they're doing that. See, I don't know why they're going with a 3-3 look. Of course, I can't say a whole lot because in 06, sometimes they do something, things similar. That's good defense. It didn't make a difference. They still got a good defense. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, let's go. Let's see if we got any good passing here. There's that screen play. I'd rather wait. Let's do Gambler. We're going zone. I want to see if this corner will do his thing. This also gives me a chance to maybe get to my tight end finally. Let's see. Nope. He went. He went high again, from what I could tell. And they may have went quarters right there. And yeah, they very well could have went cover three or quarters. So what's what, third and three? Let's just do another curl flat. All right, they're going zone. I really want to see that corner come up. Just once. Then I can be done with it. We're going to go to somebody on the left. Oh, good play right there. Good defense. We get the first down, though. That was a unique defense right there. Okay, so the corner, he finally decided to stay low like this. But look at this. They've done a little, like, I don't know what you want to call it. This guy actually went up. So they actually covered both of them. That is unique. I've never seen that before. Again, zone, they covered both. But what happened was that left this cat open, my running back, Murray. I missed him almost. Just enough, though, first down. All right. Uh, let's do five. Let's keep passing. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's do inside switch. We're going zone again. And I need to put my tight end in there. And I'm feeling the heat. Let's go. I was fixing to get sacked. Somebody came through. Okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to worry a little bit. I'm starting to worry about the offensive line play in this game for both sides in All-American. Look at this. Look at this defensive tackle come through. I, I mean, I don't I don't know what to do about that. Is that an awareness thing or pass blocking? I'm hoping it's just pass blocking. If it is, I'll gladly increase it for both teams. But he just whiffed on it, and he had nobody else to defend. My center had nobody else to defend on that one. And he just let him go through. Hmm. That worries me a little bit. Hopefully that's an easy fix. Well, let's do dig smash. The going man. I may just let the clock roll. Let's just do that. I want to see more zone. It's either that or my slide protection isn't working. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's go back to five by. Let's do that dig smash. And I forgot to put my tight end back in there. Dang it. We'll do it here in a minute. All right, they're going man again. This will probably go to somebody on the left unless... Let's see. Comes out in the shotgun. Back to back. 
And dang it, I fixed to get sapped again. Somebody came through. That's a legit blitz right there. I mean, they can't get everybody. But every play, it's just nonstop. I feel like I'm running around. So the defense really stepped up for both teams in this second half, which I'm perfectly fine with. All right, they're going man. I'll probably go to my comeback unless they bring both safeties. The Sooner are lining up with three receivers. Nope, they're going too high. He looks throwing right. He catches First down. He's pushed out of bounds. At the Let's put our tight end here. There we go. Let's just throw around a little bit more. Let's do basic curl flats. We're going man. This will probably go one of the curls. I'm going to hot route Gresham. Can you hear it? He should be able to. Look at that. That's a, uh, again, I don't know if it's awareness or the pass blocking slider is off on All-America, but look at Carlos Dunlap, the defensive end on the right. Neither one of my guy. ooh, they done a scrape exchange. Either way, this guy probably should have picked him up, and he just, uh, uh. so I'm running for my life because of it. I don't know what to make of that. I really don't know what to think about all that. So, either way, let's run the ball. We're going man. The Sooners go with the I formation. Good defense. Go tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. That didn't go anywhere. Let's go with another wide receiver sweep. Let's take a chance on it. I love one of these sweeps. When you see good blocking, it's a thing of beauty. Let's just go ahead and right into it. Like right here, for example. They went zone. And when you're thinking zone, you got to think vertically when you're running upfield. And as you can tell, I'm sure they, it looks like they went cover two, so I played it right. Just go right upfield, and you pick up a first down. So what we can do, let's run a little series. Let's go back to I-Twins. And it's right here. And let's run this series. I may do the play action here in a minute. But we're going to do the halfback dive first. It's first We're going man. And, this is the tenth play and they're doing an odd front for whatever reason. Of course, I can't say too much. It's been working for the them. Go with the I, formation. Uh, I can't flip it. That's okay. He gets another carry. Not a whole lot there. The the now, line. let me look at their play Murray action play. Five with the carry. Uh, let's just do the wide receiver. I'm not a big fan of that play out of the gate. Let's just do the wide receiver sweep now. Second and five They're going here. zone. I probably this should have threw another play in between the these two, but that's okay. Get the first down. Again, zone. Just cut up field on that one. So we can go here. And I don't think they have a halfback fake sweep in this one. They should have added it since they already got this play. Now, I think they may have it here. That's the fake dive wide receiver sweep. But they don't have the basic dive to go with it. Let's just do slam. We've got a first and ten. We're doing that 3-3 three, three look. He's blitz since we're definitely going to go to the left. Oh, look at that hole. Jeez. I mean, what are you going to give me that big of a... I mean, that's a mag truck type hole right there. So, what are we on? Are we on the five? They will probably go... They're on the four. Looks like we may have to go goal line. Let's go here and let's do a toss. The toss, I'm... I don't think it'll work all that well, but we'll try it. We're going zone. We're staying away from that right side. We're going to go to our left. And what I may do is bring somebody over. And they shifted. That was smart on their part. Touchdown. I was able to cut up. They, they blocked the outside, so I had no choice for the cut in. Okay. I really wish Florida would have done something offensively, but I may just have to make some adjustments on All-American. I think it's pretty obvious between these two teams, but I'm not going to yet. Again, I've said it like five times already. I'm going to wait. 
I want to see how the other scenarios react. It would have been nice to see Florida at least do a little something offensively, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. Is lining up to kick this one off. Harvin and Murphy keep to return. He sends it off. Otherwise, both defenses have really done their part of the second half. It was all offense, at least for me, in the first half, and that was our first points of the half right there. Let's just do quarters. They'll get the ball here at the 31. The Gator line up with three wide. We're doing a gun two back slot close look. That's an interesting play that he drops it. That was interesting. It's like, that was weird. It's like, I'm going to run it, I'm going to run it, and then his icons come up, the passing icons, right there. Then he just throws it to him. Now, he, this guy may not be able to catch. He should have caught it, but he didn't. Okay. Let's do a cover two man, see how they react to it. From their own 31 Again, I'm not having to do any heavy blitz of the day, and they're still struggling against my defense. The Sooners. But again, I got some talent on defense as well. Just nothing there. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Let's just do a basic cover three. I'll control they line up at the 30. an offensive lineman. Or, sorry, defensive lineman. Linebackers move over. Tebow drops back. He lets it go. Got it. They finally got something going, but it went fourth down. That may be rough in the passer. Holding. <laughs> we'll decline that. Now, they'll probably go for it here. I didn't think about it. Nope, they're going to punt it. Well, they've given up. The game's over with. They kind of know what I guess. They come out in a punt formation. So, I got some things to think about. Back deep to return. He gets it away. That's good defense. I probably should have fair caught that. And we see this offense again after which left hash. Very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog uh, were able to create Let's do this flanker drive. Get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. We're going zone. Please, cornerback, I want you to come up. I have proof of it. In the Texas game, the corner came up several times. Of course, you may have only seen one of it. Nope, he's going low. Ooh. Just enough. He went high, though, again. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came Let's stay underneath. Let's do this flanker curl. For the to throw We're going man. I got four options here. It just kind of depends on what these safeties are going to do. We're bringing everybody. Oh, we got some pretty good protection this time. Pick up a first down there. To the 25-yard line. Seems like they've been able to do that all day, Coach. The so, was just with that, the play. When you let an offense come at you let's like try that, wide receiver sweep off of that. Again, then it's hard to win a ball game. After that, we may just They'll run it with Murray. Ooh, not a big fan of that shift. They may really blow this one up. Yeah, good defense. It's good to see that because I was getting pretty successful with those after a while. Let's stay here and let's try that deep comeback again. All right, they're going zone. Maybe Florida, they just decided, hey, we're going to go high. We're not going to let you try to do so much deep stuff. We'll do slide protection. Yay, it worked. Oh, did I get the first down? He finally done it. Okay. I finally have proof that it works. All right. They went zone. The quarterback will either go high or low this time. He went low. So I'm going to go to my high read. Which is the comeback up top. Boom, first down. So I'm on the eight-yard line. Let's stay here. Let's do that fake sweep. And since we're inside the 20, where experience matters most, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice. We're going to give this to Murray up the gut. That's just good defense. One-yard gain on the play. Seven yard, let's try. I want to keep running. Let's do the slot version. Now let's do the power O. We'll do the weak side. We're going zone. This may not work. We may go to our left instead. There we go. 
we'll run a little clock. I'm happy with the score. I mean, I'd like to see Florida do a little bit, but it wasn't – I didn't put up 80 points like I did with against Texas with Wisconsin. Florida's defense really done a number on me in the second half, so I'm glad I got to see that at least. Uh, let's do hitch corner. Please go zone. All right, they're going zone. Any combo high-low read can work in this game with that corner doing what he does. Let's see if this works. He's going. Ooh, uh, somebody came through. Uh, this is a problem. I don't know. I'm really hoping pass blocking Snyder fixes this. But look at the tackle. For whatever reason, he just can't handle this guy coming through. That's an awareness thing or a pass block thing. Somebody maybe can answer that for me. But it's like, uh, I should have threw a little bit earlier, but still, that is a somewhat of an issue. I wish that was fixed a little bit on both teams for both sides. All right, let's go for it. I don't care. Uh, let's do, I need a high-low. Uh, not play action. Let's do X follow. That looks nasty. We're going zone. This will go to my shallow or my drag or my comeback. And I got, I didn't get it off in time. Now, is this a legit? Whatever, I don't know what my tackle's doing. I don't know what he's doing here. He's going after this guy, I guess. So I, I don't, for whatever reason, he decided to let that guy just come right on by. My guy was wide open. That's my fault for not getting to him. Eh, quit. No. Uh, I should have given that. He was a center beater, too. That's my fault for not hitting him right there. That was six points. Okay. All right. A few more seconds, and this game will be over with. At the nine yard line. The defensive back's moving in closer. Play action. Oh, there he goes. He takes off. Lewis tackles him at the 16. He will take seven rushes, zero yards. That's not normal, Tebow. But whatever. It's it's hard to replicate that, I guess. Let's do a basic cover two man nickel. Second down. They come out in a nickel. Move. Get him. Still didn't get the first. We're going to try to do something with this. Let's do a Tampa 2. Third down, a yard to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. 32 seconds. They'll probably go. F well, I don't know. I mean, they're not going to win. There's nothing there. So. This is interesting. What's interesting is in the Wisconsin game, I ran the ball really well. And I didn't see a whole lot of blown misassignments in the passing blocking. I really didn't. But I'm seeing a ton of this game. I don't know what to make of that. Number nine is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. All right, four, three. Let's just get out of bounds. All right. I don't have a Hail Mary. Let's look at the Hail Mary one more time. Look here. Special teams, goal line, shotgun five wide. There is no Hail Mary in here, and that's because that 13th formation took place of that Hail Mary. That's not a big deal, but steal, you know? Kind of wish it was there. Do we got anything deep here? Let's do these wheelies. We're going zone. I'm curious to see what that right corner does. Come out of a five wide set. Oh, he's doing that. He looks, he that may get intercepted. That's all right. Okay, game over. Let's talk about some things. I don't care about the celebration and whatnot. Campus challenge. I, I, I got to turn that off. I always forget. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Yep, see ya. All right, let's. I think that user report card's kind of goofy. It's I'll never pay much attention to it, but I think it's kind of 
It, it's funny. It depends. It's it. it I, I'm what I guess what I'm saying is I don't think it takes into account who you beat. Like we just beat like they're arguably the best team in the country, and they're saying we play terrible. But that's like your user stats. Maybe it's just me personally. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Either way. All right. The score, I'm happy with me only putting up 28. Florida's got a really good defense in the show. The problem is I showed several, several examples of how just there's a lot of missed assignments in the pass blocking. I don't know why. Again, it's either the awareness or the pass blocking slider needs to go up in some fashion. I don't know. I'm more than happy with the total offense we had. That's great. Six minutes seems like a good spot for me, especially if I can somehow get the opposing offense to do something. Florida only had 114 yards. Now, is that just because of my defense was just that good or because their offensive line couldn't block either? I don't know. It was just so weird because in the Wisconsin-Texas game, I didn't see a whole lot of missed assignments on the line. It's just so weird. Maybe it's just an off and on. Maybe every game is just going to be completely different. I don't know. I'm not seeing a whole lot of consistency from going from game to game. We threw the ball really well, 21-28, to 28, when we was able to get the ball off. Florida threw the ball halfway decent when they had a chance, but, you know, they got sacked three times. The good news is no turnovers in the second half. That excites me. I was really worried about seeing three to four more turnovers. We didn't see none of that. That second half was a defensive battle through and through. I'm perfectly fine with that. So glad to see all of that. So when you go to like the individual stats, again, Tebow threw the ball. I mean, I'm more than happy with him throwing them 55%. Now, some of those he probably could have done even better if he didn't get hit all the time. I'm a little worried about the... We can go back and look at this. I'm a little worried about the rushing attack for the CPU. That's even regardless of being on Heisman or on All-American, I'm not seeing any... CPU offense run the ball all that well. Like, not at all. And I don't know what to do about that other than just increase the blocking for both. I don't know. I just don't have an answer for it right now. You can look at our stats. Again, Stafford done his thing. More than it's satisfied with DeMarco Murray getting 78 yards off four, uh, 4.1 average, four touchdowns, all that was goal line stuff. I'm more than happy with that for sure. Really cool to see some of the wide receiver sweeps used. I hope you got to, you know, notice that they were pretty effective if you just follow your blocks. Wide receivers, we threw the ball quite a bit. Tennell had it a game and a half. He played great. Cool thing is we didn't see any goofy drops from either team. They had three. That's I think that's somewhat normal. We had one. That's I'm not too worried about that. Blocking, pancakes look pretty normal for both sides. I'm even surprised. Normally, the CPU always has more blocks or more pancakes, but not today. Defensively, there's really not a whole lot to see here. I don't know if you noticed. They don't have knockdowns anymore. They didn't add them to the game. So the knockdown stat's not in here. Maybe they got tired of people complaining about that. I, I don't know. Either way, I think that's funny. It's not in there. I think that's it. Hopefully, you enjoyed all of this. Again, my next thing coming up, be another exhibition game. I'll be a bad team, like at least a two-letter grades below. Going up against a really good team. I hope the CPU does its thing, beats me, puts up good numbers offensively. If not, then I'm forced to have to do something with the sliders at All-American. I cannot go to Heisman because the jump to snap will just destroy both teams. And we don't want to see any of that. So if we can somehow figure out the offensive line play for both, I think both offenses will do okay. But even with all of those missed assignments on the pass blocking, I still put up almost 400 yards on Florida. So I don't know. We'll figure all that out. I'm excited what I'm seeing, though. As a whole, it's not perfect. I don't need to expect it to be. But there's, the playbooks are so much fun in this game, and they got so many little bitty features added that I'm really looking forward to exploring all this. I hope you are too. Hopefully this was helpful. Come on back. We'll play our next exhibition game, and I'll talk to you later.